Okay, we're going to do a little unboxing here. We got the camping coffee maker, the Coleman camping coffee maker. A friend of ours had this, and uh, we said, oh, yeah, we need to have that. That's better than a kettle pot. So uh, let's get into it. Hi, everybody. Uh, so we got this awesome camping coffee maker by Coleman. It sits on a burner, okay? Mm. And it percolates your coffee just like you would with an electric one that you plug in at your house. Only this one, you just put it over a burner. Yep. And that burner heats up that water and percolates your coffee the same way your coffee maker works. And we'll show you. And we got this. The, we were gifted this from our wonderful friends, um, yep. Justin and Melissa. And thanks a million again. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And now it's the unboxing. Let's undo it. Unboxing, unboxing. Open it up, open it up. No, Bean Bean, it's not for you, honey. Sorry. Once again, I'm sorry. Your box is coming. All you have to do is remove it from the box. <laughs> I'll hold it. Uh-oh. There it is. Maybe you should have done that upright. No. So here it is, and... Uh, Requires regular filters, just like a regular coffee pot. You put your water in there, and uh, you got your your coffee pot, you know, and you just fill it up. No buttons to push. Just push. Just put it over your. So, so the bottom, the bottom half of this is all metal. From, yeah. From here, all the way down, it's all metal. Yeah. So you put this over your burner, and that burner heats up the water and sends the hot water up and percolates into your thing so yep. and then this this part this is uh, up here is uh, this whole upper half is plastic is yeah like it's like your regular coffee maker yep it's just got a metal bottom for your burner yep comes with instructions in case you <laughs> forgot what I just told you put it on the burner <laughs> put the water and coffee in have fun now, uh, they do suggest to have the uh, handle straight because, straight out, because it, it does get hot off to the side. If it's off to the side, that flame <clears throat> could compromise your plastic handle. Yeah. So you keep it straight up. Yeah. So we did try this out on a burner. We, and, we, uh, we ran it and sanitized it, and it did what it's supposed to. Right. It does take, uh, I can tell you, to percolate, it, it will take at least 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how much coffee. It took almost 30 minutes uh, for 12 cups. Yeah. But, so, you know, we were conservative on that amount of flame that was coming up because we didn't want to, you know, overheat this unit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was at a moderate volume. I probably wouldn't want to go higher than that to yeah. speed it up. Just right. uh, take your time and enjoy it. But yeah, this this is great. So like when you're boondocking, uh, you don't have to run your generator or plug in your electric coffee maker in an inverter. A lot of people don't have that stuff. Uh, everybody's got a, either a Coleman camp stove or uh, in your RV, you've got your uh, you got your stove inside there, and you just take the you take the uh, grate off, and this has its recessed area, so you just light your burner and you put it on top, and that's it. Right. So there you go on that. Um, we will have our first uh, try at it. We'll have our first cup of coffee in our next boondocking yeah. experience. <laughs> right, which should be in about uh, the month. end of September or October. So um, other than that, there you have it. Uh, we find this to be excellent. Yes. So I, we, I tried to do a, a, a pot, a, what do they call that, percolator. Um, I didn't care for it. It wasn't. It didn't heat up the water um, as quick, and I don't like you know the granules, coffee gra grinds in my my coffee. So uh, this this works really well for us. Anyway, so we'll talk to you guys later. Hey, know that we love you. And Jesus loves you. And we will talk to you soon.
Bye now.